Hi guys, happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I took a much needed day off from work today and I'm gonna do a little Christmas shopping. And when I asked you guys on Instagram what videos you like to see, a lot of you said vlogs. So I thought I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. We'll probably do the usual. You guys know I'm pretty routine, go to Starbucks. I also have a couple things I had gotten in the mail that I wanna share with you as well. I don't really have time to do it this morning because I have to get on the road, but I will share it with you when I get back. But today I am wearing my little Chanel studs. If you guys saw my least used luxury items or worst luxury purchases, I put these on there because I never use them and I'm really making a point to try to wear a lot of those things. And I'm wearing a trench coat, my Burberry scarf. Actually, let me spin the camera around. I'll share with you um, my outfit. Here is my outfit. I am just wearing a basic tee I got from Target, a Burberry scarf, a trench coat that I got from the Nordstrom sale not too long ago. I am wearing my new Chanel bag. You guys have given me such great feedback on it. If you saw that video, you know that I was a little torn on the color, but I'm definitely gonna wear it to kind of try it out see how I like it and um, so far I've worn it a couple times so so far so good have my jeans and then my Veja sneakers they are so comfortable especially when I'm shopping so you can see that is my full outfit of the day this bag is nice it definitely fits a good amount I'll share with you what I have in it the only thing is I love crossbody bags and this one is either a shoulder bag clutch or you wear it like this I find myself wearing it like this a lot so this is my outfit and I will share with you what I have in my bag in the car love you I love you I'll see you later I'll take you out for a walk later I love you bye bye one more thing I have to do when I go to the mall today is I have a return from Louis Vuitton um, I had purchased this it's a little key pouch um, probably less than a month ago but then I ended up getting my Louis Vuitton wearable wallet and it came with a small leather good so I figure there's no need to have both so I'm being good I'm gonna return that today so all right guys let's go ahead and let's get going we'll see Mr. Banks I love you I love you He's my little buddy, so it's hard to leave him. I'm always with him all day long. I love you. I'll see you later. We'll go for a walk. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm in the car now, and I thought I would share with you a little what's in my bag. So here is the bag. Um, this is from the 12A collection, and you can see it's a beautiful, beautiful lipstick red. I had mentioned in that reveal video that I really wanted more of an orangey red, but now this is kind of growing on me. It has a back pocket, but I'm glad you're able to see it now in daylight. It has the silver hardware in here and let me show you what I have. It definitely fits a lot. I have some tamps, no surprise there. Uh, my little uh, Chanel uh, boy coin. I have all my cards in here. Then my lip of the day is Chanel Timeless Beige. It's very, very muted. There, you know, as you can see, it's basically the color of my lip, but I love these. I may end up seeing, I may see if they have any more colors today. I also have my Chanel cosmetic pouch where I keep receipts, a little bit of cash, and then I have my little card holder. This is where I have some gift cards. I have a Neiman Marcus gift card to their cafe, so I think today I am going to eat lunch there because I this gift card has been like in my purse forever and I've never used it and I don't want it to expire so I think I'm going to do that today and then I also have Juliet has the gun not a perfume this is my fragrance of the day oh and then one more thing I do have it's actually in my pocket because I, I keep my keys in my pocket sometime but I have this little key pouch this is from the room with a view collection this came with my uh, Louis Vuitton bag so that's one of the reasons I am returning this item I had purchased this and it was coming in the mail before I got this and then when this when I ended up buying this I was like well I don't need that so even though that's cute I thought you guys would be proud of me I don't need it so I'm taking it back I haven't even opened it yet but I will insert a pic so you guys can see what I did get it was really really cute but I definitely don't need it especially if I have this and I just love the colors look at that so pretty so pretty so okay guys let's go ahead let's get going but as you can see this bag it does fit a good amount and it is a beautiful red again it's 
12A, so 2012 autumn collection, but I really like the red and I like how it pairs with my um, Burberry scarf. I wore it the other night too, so um, we'll see. Maybe it'll end up being a keeper. So I think I am going to head to Starbucks this morning. I usually like to go in the afternoon, but let's go to Starbucks and then we'll start our day. Okay, so I am waiting in line at Starbucks. It has been so dreary here the past couple of days. It has just been raining nonstop today. I, it is still overcast this morning, but I think the sun is supposed to come out later. So I'm happy for Mr. Banks because he's gotten so spoiled since I've been working from home. Tell me if you guys can relate. He's my little coworker, but I always take him on long walks. I let him like off the leash so he can like run free. But when it's pouring down rain, he can't. So for the past two days, he hasn't been able to be off the leash. So. Hopefully I'll be able to take him later so he can run around a bit, but um, I had to do some Christmas shopping today So I don't know that I'll really show you guys what I get just because in case any of my family members or friends watch this I don't want them to see what they're getting for Christmas, but one thing I do think I am going to get for Sky is um, she loves Home Alone and there is a Home Alone Lego set like it's the Home Alone house and I, I'm like well you know if she puts that together then every year we could display it like on Christmas so it's kind of pricey but I think it'll be like her big you know present this year she also wants a lot of like hockey stuff too but I also have to shop for my husband and look for a couple of things and what else like I said I have to go to Louis to return something I might go to Sephora I want to look at a couple things but like usual you know I will um, take you guys along with me and at, at the end of this video I will share with you some things I got in the mail I got two things from Target I have some a Christian Louboutin item what else do I have to show you not shoes it's actually a makeup item and then I think I had um, some free gifts that I wanted to share with you too. So I'll share all of that with you um, later today when I get home, so. Ooh, another thing I forgot to mention, another thing I have is, do you guys remember on Black Friday, they had a deal where if you bought um, something, you would get a gift card? Well, I have that gift card to Saks to use today, so I'm gonna get something from there too. So, oh, it's my turn, so let's order. Welcome to Starbucks. I'll be right with you. Okay, thank you. Can I get started for you? Um, can I please have a tall iced vanilla latte with one pump of vanilla and one stevia, please? All right, anything else for you? No, thank you. All right, we'll see you at the window. Okay, thanks. Okay, she actually gave me a grande. I don't know if I can drink it all. Mmm. Ooh. There's a lot of coffee in this one, but that's okay. I need a little pick-me-up, so we'll be good. I just got here and it's actually not that crowded. I'm surprised. It's about 10:30. I thought for sure a Friday close to Christmas would be really crowded, but so far so good. So let's go ahead and take care of business. <laughs> I am back at the car. I had a good day. I did a little shopping. I picked up a couple of things from Sephora, which I probably should have picked up during the sale. Isn't that how it always works? I couldn't use my fragrance coupon because I didn't realize you could only use it once and I already used it on the Gucci Jasmine perfume. It hasn't come in the mail yet, but it is supposed to come. So I did get a couple of things from Sephora. I'll share that with you. I got something from Express. And then I think I mentioned to you guys, I had a gift card to use to Saks Fifth Avenue. It was for $75. I had gotten a gift card on Black Friday because if you spent $150 on beauty products, you got a $75 gift card. 
and you had to redeem it this week. Well, I happened to go in Saks Fifth Avenue. I was looking, I wanted to get some Chanel liquid lipsticks, but that was not included in the 15% off because Saks was also having 15% off. And I saw Jo Malone and they had one advent calendar left and I had purchased the Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar and then I have the Jo Malone. I was torn whether or not I wanted to get the Jo Malone or the Dior, but I feel like the Dior is so expensive and a lot of those items are just like samples. So I, they had the Jo Malone advent calendar. I was able to get 15% off and I was able to use my $75 gift card. So I'm really excited about that. I will do a dedicated video of the Jo Malone advent calendar because I have no idea what's in it. I didn't even take a peek, but I knew I wanted to get one more advent calendar. The one from Charlotte Tilbury I did a video on, I've been using that as a jewelry box. I just absolutely loved that one and I got a discount on that one to during one of the beauty events. So um, I will share that with you. Like I said, I will do a dedicated video in case you guys are interested. Um, I'll do that video next. But when I get home, I'll share with you what I got from Sephora Express and then um, also the stuff that I had delivered in the mail. Oh, I also did want to let you know. So I'm not sure what it is about the stores. I think I have mentioned this before, but like security is crazy now in a lot of the stores. So I didn't really, I wasn't really able to get like too much footage. I did go into Chanel. I went into um, Louis Vuitton and then Chanel, like there was just like a salesperson everywhere and they were very nice, but they're kind of like on you all the time. So I couldn't really like take a lot of pictures and stuff like that. And I know some stores kind of frown upon it, but it looked like Chanel was getting in their new collection. So there were a lot of like um, peach like peach bags and I saw a lot of caramel bags too you guys know the Chanel 19 is kind of a bag that's still on my radar what else did they have um I didn't really see many reds I went in there kind of looking for some red items but they didn't have a lot of red items so like I said I did go into Louis Vuitton and I tried on the Vavin bag and that, that one is really really pretty I was on the fence about it because it does have a chain strap and I wish it had a leather strap like a leather adjustable strap but that's the one thing that I'm kind of on the fence with about the bag but I feel like it'd be functional because there is a front pocket so I tried that one on and I got to see Stephanie so hi Stephanie if you're watching this she was so sweet and so helpful I did return that Louis Vuitton key pouch like I said I, I tried to be good because I already got the one that came with the bag that I recently bought so I just felt there wasn't a need for me to have another one that was very similar so anyway I had a good day I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get going and when we get home I will share what I got oh one more thing I didn't end up going to the Neiman Marcus cafe because there was a wait and I was impatient so I ended up just getting a slice of pizza and it did the job so okay let's get home and when i get home i will share with you the items i picked up as well as the items that i got in the mail thanks e. hi buddy hi oh. okay guys i am home and i'm filming in kind of a different location i'm actually in my bedroom and i'm sitting on the floor because I need to look out the window. My daughter's bus will be here very soon, but I wanted to film while it was still light so I could share with you guys what I picked up. I have some things that I got in store, some things that were delivered to my house. I have a plethora of items. I also mentioned to you guys that I will be doing a video on the Jo Malone advent calendar. I did pick that up. It was 15% off, plus I used my Saks Fifth Avenue gift card, so I'm excited about that. So if you guys are curious, stay tuned for that. So let's get into it. Um, what do I have first? Uh, let's, I went to Sephora and I picked up a couple things. Oh, I did also return the Louis Vuitton item and um, my sales associate Stephanie was so sweet. She was like, just keep the bag. It's the holiday bag. So I was like, okay. She's so sweet. All right. So I went into Sephora and I know I mentioned to you guys that I should have purchased these items when the sale was going on, but I just that's just how it goes. So the first thing I picked up was this Brio Gio Superfoods Shampoo and Conditioner. I mainly got this. I'm not going to lie. I saw Tati talking about this probably like a year ago, but I've used this before and it smells so good. This particular flavor is, where is it? It is like banana, coconut, something like that. Um, yeah, it's banana and coconut. It smells so good. And my hair, I know I've told you guys this before. I have color treated hair. This last time I went, I had her put more brown in my hair, but it is really like fried and you can really see it. We're a natural light here. So I'm definitely looking for any type of super food, but 
superfood for my hair, but I got this. It smells so good. They also have a cherry one, but this one is just delicious. And I had a little bit left over and I used it the other day and my husband was like, what is that? That smells so good. So it prompted me to get it. It is a little pricey, so I would recommend waiting for a sale. I'm not taking my own advice <laughs> because I needed it, but this is really good and it's the first thing I got. Okay. Then I need a new eyeshadow palette because my favorite one by Bare Minerals has been discontinued. That's the one I always use. So I happened to be perusing and I saw this one by Gwen Stefani and it had a lot of the, the like pretty colors that I like. This is in Danger Zone. That's the shade, but I will show you what it looks like. It comes in this little packaging right here. By the way, I love how cute her and Blake Shelton are. They're so cute together. Oh, oh, these colors are right up my alley. Like, I don't know if you guys like cool tones or warm tones. I am definitely a cool tone type of gal. So this is right up my alley. So what I plan to do is put this from my lid to my brow bone, this in my crease, this kind of in my crease and outer corner, and then this on my lash line. And then I also plan on using my Tarte Chrome Hot on my lid, and I think that will look really nice. So these are really, really pretty. I will insert swatches so you can see what it looks like, but it was also a little more inexpensive. It was $28 compared to some of the other palettes I looked at, like the Charlotte Tilbury, which was like $58. So I opted to try this one. I haven't really heard many people talking about it, so we'll give it a go. And then I want to talk about a product I've heard a lot of people talking about, and it made me want to jump on the bandwagon. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish. So this says brightening, blurring, lighting effect. So what you're supposed to do with this, it's supposed to be like your last step in your process. So after you do everything to your face, you're supposed to put this on and it's supposed to just blur everything out and just make your skin look really nice. Who doesn't love that, right? Or who doesn't need that? And the packaging, let me share it with you. It is different from the typical Charlotte Tilbury packaging because it is like a white compact and the powder is just like a white, oh my gosh, it's really silky smooth. I'll have to try that out sometime. Maybe I'll do that in my next vlog if you guys want to see it, but I'm excited about this. Everyone has been raving about it, so I definitely wanted to try it. So those are the three items I got from Sephora. Then I did also order a new perfume online. It hasn't come yet. It is the Gucci Jasmine in the blue bottle and I got 20% off, but I could only use the 20% off once. I had Lost Cherry. I was going to buy that, but it's really expensive. And if I can't get the 20%, then I put it back. Next, I'm going to share something I ordered online. It's by Mason Francis Kurgen. It is, I'm sure you guys know what it is, or maybe you don't, but Bloomingdale's was having a sale the other day where you could get, I want to say $25 off. I can't remember the exact amount. Maybe it was more, but they had this Baccarat Rouge 540 sparkling body oil. Now I will be honest. I purchased the body lotion and the hairspray. The body lotion kind of smells a little medicine-y, so I'm not like a huge fan of that. And then the, the hair mist does not last very long. So I've heard that this body oil smells just like Baccarat Rouge 540 and it like lasts. So let's see what it looks like. Ooh. So here is the beautiful bottle. Let's see. Well, first off, it does smell just like Baccarat Rouge, but I wish they would have had some sort of like a pump. This is kind of how it comes. That's kind of a bummer. Let me see, unless, nope, that's how it comes, so. Put a little on and let's see how it goes. Can you see that? I don't really see anything. Oh, there we go. See it glistening? Oh, that does smell nice. Oh, it does smell really nice. So I could see like everyone needs a little bit of moisture. I certainly do on my skin. So I plan to douse myself in this and then you spray the perfume and there you go. I like this. I definitely like this better so far than the lotion. The lotion, I would not recommend. It smells, like I said, very like medicine-y. So if anyone else owns it, let me know what you think. And I was really disappointed about that. 
Okay, then I went to Express and Express was having a sale where it was 50% off, but they also had a deal where their sale items were the sale price plus an, plus an additional um, 50% off. And I saw this, I did not try it on, so I really hope it's gonna fit, but I thought it'd be so nice for like New Year's Eve. It's a really sparkly like bodysuit. Now I'm taking a gamble here and I will insert a clip, so hopefully it fits. Usually in tops, I wear a small, but if I ever get bodysuits, I like to get like a medium just because it has to go over my booty. <laughs> but when I bought that green one from Express, I got a medium and I felt like it bulged a little bit on the sides. I will insert a clip of that. So this one, I opted for a small. So let's hope that when you see me trying it on that it fits, but I thought this was really pretty and sparkly and you could tuck it into a skirt or a black pair of pants. So not only did I get it 50% off, but I also had two rewards, a $15 reward and a $10 reward. So I got this for like a really, really good deal. Okay. Then, Oh, I want to share with you two items that I ordered from Target. And like usual, everything I mentioned today, I will link down below um, just in case you're interested in anything. So you guys may or may not have seen on Instagram, I posted a picture of me wearing this like turquoise sweatshirt. Well, I fell in love with that because it's kind of like a crop style. So I went online to see the other colors they had and they had this pink which I thought was really, really pretty. So it's just a regular crew neck sweatshirt. It's just a little um, cropped and I like to kind of wear these to the gym. So I got this pink color and then they also had this heather gray color as well. And the cool thing about if you get like a gray sweatshirt, you can wear that so many different ways and it matches so many different things. So, so I thought that that was really cute and both of these were really affordable. So I'll link both of those and they have so many different colors. And then I also got another sweatshirt in the mail. Lululemon was having a sale and I immediately picked this up. Now, I don't think this is really my right size, but it was like one of the only sizes they have available. As I stated, usually I'm a six and they only had this size in an eight, which is fine. I like the, um, the sweatshirts to be oversized sometimes too. I thought this would look good with like leggings, but I've been on the hunt for just a basic white crew neck sweatshirt. Every sweatshirt I found has been like a cream. I just can't find like a white. And I found this one from Lululemon. It is just a basic white. So again, you can wear it with leggings, um, wear it to the gym. So yeah, I thought that was cute too. And I will be inserting high on so you can see me wearing these, but this was on sale. And I think, oh, another thing. Okay, another thing I wanted to share. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I always share when they're like, any type of like gift with purchase and there was a gift with purchase it's actually still going on now where if you spend 150 on Christian Louboutin beauty you get a free ornament and I did a reel on Instagram sharing this with you and then if you spent 200 you got a deck of cards which is really cool so I ordered three items two of the items haven't come yet I think they might be back ordered but I did get one it's a Christian Louboutin. I got another one of their like lipsticks, like liquid lipsticks. Now these are crazy. I always joke you can use this. Oh, I could put it on the tree as like an ornament. But this is a liquid lipstick, but it's like that orangey red. Not everyone likes this orangey red, but I kind of do. I just think it looks really, really pretty. But I've never tried their liquid lipsticks before, so let's be honest. I really just wanted to get to the threshold so I could get the free gift. I'm one of those people. I love those free gifts purchased. But this was one of the items um, that I got, and I will link this down below. So hopefully the event is still going on. But I think, you guys, that is everything that I picked up today. I also returned that Louis Vuitton item. I did end up getting my daughter the Home Alone Lego set. So hopefully she'll like that. I'm really excited about that. And I got a couple other presents that I'm not going to mention in the video. I didn't want to share them just in case any of my friends and family watch. And what else? Um, stay tuned because I will be sharing with you that advent calendar from Joe Malone. I'm so excited about the deal I got on that. And then yeah, tonight it is Friday. My daughter's bus is actually arriving as we speak. We're going to grab a bite to eat and then she has hockey tonight. So have a good weekend, you guys. I will talk to you soon. Make sure to hit that little subscribe subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Have a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach.
with our feet.